What is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and I am back to bring you another Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle video. If you end up enjoying the video, all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe for more future videos, and yeah, hope you guys are going to be enjoying your summer because it's, it's almost summer you guys i'm about to graduate it's going to be a fun summer for me because i'll be graduating and it's gonna be good vibes all around but i do want to increase my videos for one thing i know i haven't been posting regularly it's because i'm busy and everything but anyways so we have ourselves a passerby challenge today i wanted to use mega hair cross this battle so we see uh paramigia the amoongus there i wanted to try out pulverizing pancake on small ass but that didn't work out we have a mixed curum defensive blast slice the mega hair cross as the main pokemon that i want to use my opponent has Really threatening pokemon so we'll see how we handle she has blaziken to start out I'm going to start with Blastoise because I figured you might start with it. At the beginning of this battle, I was going to protect and see what this Blaziken is going to do. I knew it had speed boost, otherwise he wouldn't bring it. I was hoping he could bring um, Swords Dance. Unfortunately, he does. And so, here I was thinking I might be able to take a neutral high jump kick, but at plus two... Not so much. I am able to uh, protect right here, but after that, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. I can't really switch out of this position because someone is going to go down. It's a plus two Blaziken with plus two speed. It's a high jump kick. Yeah, no one is going to survive that. So we're going to have to sacrifice Blastoise. In return, I will bring in someone fresh. Um, so, that is a good thing about that, but I, I just wanted to use Mega, or not Mega Blastoise, but like, regular Blastoise, because regular Blastoise functions really well. Now here, my opponent reveals the Pecone Pass, that is standard, I really should have gone with the Solar Beam, but I wanted to be safe, so therefore I used Majestical here, the Delphos is Psychic, but that fails against Greninja. Expecting a Scald. We go into Paramigia. The Amoongus, you guys know this set for sure, I would assume, because you've been watching my videos. A really defensive Pokemon here. I know I can take pretty much anything, like an Ice Punch or an Ice Beam. But we see Annie, she's using her Z Power. It's going to be. Black Hole Eclipse, and that is going to be a strong move coming my direction. Fortunately, with my investment, I will be able to take this move right here. And then paralyze this Greninja, which is great. I could have put him to sleep, but I think it's better off just paralyzing it. Because it will make my Delphos come in easier, or... Maybe use Kiram. I don't know. Maybe Totoro here, the small ass. We have options. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, Greninja ends up getting paralyzed. It, it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure he's going to go for an Ice Beam or an Ice Punch. And it, it wouldn't do very much to the small ass who has uh, Thick Fat. I go for the Double Edge. And that is a strong move coming from small ass. And, I, and I'm pretty sure I had the right moves for this. Pokemon to use Pulverizing Pancake, his signature Z-Power move, but I screwed up somehow, so I can't use that move right now. Unfortunately, uh, this Glaceon, who's looking really boss right now, reveals the Heal Bell. Therefore, the uh, Paralysis is gone, which is like, oh, I went all that trouble trying to paralyze Greninja, and now Greninja is not paralyzed anymore. That sucks. But I do take out Glaceon. Unfortunately, Blaziken is back. Um, that is troublesome. So going into Majestical, if he wants to go for the Sword Stance, uh, that's okay, I guess. A plus two high jump kick will still hurt, even if Delphox gets hit by it. 
that we see he goes for the protect, which is okay by me. Now here, this is where I predict Greninja coming in. It's so obvious that this Pokemon is coming in. So why not just go for the Power Herb boosted, well it's not really boosted, but it's charging up Solar Beam to hit it turn one, and then we just wipe out Greninja. How awesome is that? And we got a critical hit even, that is double points. So there you go, that is a Della Fox taking out Greninja, and that's awesome. Unfortunately, man, this Pokemon, this is suspect. Alone, Raichu is so fast. I go for the flamethrower, because why not, right? <laughs> why not? It, it's it's going to do some damage, and we steal the life orb. So, that is good to know that this Espeon would have been a threat if I didn't put damage onto it, but we see this Espeon pretty much neutered at this point. I can always go into, um, I don't know why I went into Amoongus like this. Oh, that's right, because I can get the regenerator. Of course! You know, that's, that's, that's something right there. Because, you know, my opponent is going to go for the side shock, and it's like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? But I just do it just so I can get the regenerator boost. Unfortunately, I wanted to see if he had Dazzling Gleam, and, and yeah, it's he's going to hit it, and it's going to get a critical hit. I might have survived it. I don't know. I wanted to scout and see if he has it, and he has Dazzling Gleam. So, that was done. I, I should have actually switched out into Totoro, the small ass if I knew that was coming, but that was just a trial by error on my end. And we just go for another double edge to knock out Espeon. Blaze the tennis back for more, guys, and I just don't know how we're going to handle this. He goes for the sword stance. I don't know why he did that. He could have just gone for the high jump kick. He really should have gone for that, because I have Earthquake. Either he knew that I was banded or something, I don't know, but I'm, I guess I'm, I'm bluffing a little bit that I'm banded, but I'm not banded. So therefore, I will go for the Earthquake and, uh, you know, just wipe out Blaze again. So either my opponent didn't know that I was banded, I think that's what it looks like. So here, you guys, this is a Mega Venusaur. And I know Mega Venusaur has sick fat also. I can't really do much with a fire punch. So I need to go with an earthquake. It is going to be neutral. But it really doesn't matter what I do because of the leech seed being active and whatnot. Yeah, so I'm going to sacrifice the Toro here, the Snorlax, and then this will give me a great opportunity to go into Mega Heracross or a regular Heracross and then Mega Evolve. And then just click the pen missile. It may not take out Venusaur yet, but it's going to hit five times. So we'll see where this goes. We hit two here, and then here's the third one. Here's the fourth pen missile. That must hurt. It, it just, you know, if you have a Pokemon use pen missile on you five times, it's got to hurt you somehow. Now we see Sludge Ball not doing much, but I get poisoned. Because why not, right? I always get poisoned. I always get, you know, paralyzed at the wrong time. But another set of pen missiles is going to finish off Venusaur quite nicely there. So, Mega Heracross against Mega Venusaur. Heracross wins. That is amazing. Now, I believe my opponent has Raichu left. Whereas, I have Heracross and then my uh, other Pokemon. So, uh, Psychic is going to finish me off. I'm really sad to see that I don't outspeed. Mega Heracross is that fast, but holy cow. Lolan Raichu is so fast, I can't even. And there we go, we see Amoongus, who did something in this battle, but yeah, Psychic is going to finish off Amoongus also. So, great battle by my opponent. Really good battle where I got to try out some things. I, it just didn't work out in my favor. It was cool to see you know, Mega Heracross. It was cool to see Delphox doing what he did against the Ninja. Fun, fun, fun. So I hope you guys have a great week. If you end up enjoying the video, again, you can like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Wi-Fi Battle video. Alright, take care, trainers.